Hi, this is Pete from bloggingenius.net. Today we're going to talk about on-page SEO. Okay, so the first job is for the main site, for our, our homepage, or for the, for the whole blog itself. We need the keyword in the URL. So if our keyword, for example, was weight loss, it would be www.weightloss.com or .net, .org. Um, obviously, weightloss.com is probably gone. There we go. So you need it in. You'll need your keyword in your URL. This applies also if you're using long tail keywords. Well, it applies to anything. You need your keyword somewhere in your URL. You also need the keyword in the title of the site. So when you're setting it up, if you're using WordPress, which I highly recommend because it's the easiest system to use, so your site title would be weight loss in this example or whatever your keyword is. Also, when you're setting up when I use WordPress, I always set a static page for people to come to, so like a landing page, if you like. So you need that, your keyword in that page title also. So this leads me on now to the home page layout. Your home page title should be your keyword instead of home. So this is what I was saying. If you set up a custom menu, so if you, when you create the page, create it, so it would be weight loss home or just weight loss. And then go into your settings and set that page as the static page. So when people come to the site, that's the first page they see. And also that then becomes your home page. So it would be weight loss home or home. You've got a bit of an advantage with the SEO because you've got your keyword then actually in the home page title. Okay, so for the home page SEO, so when you're writing your article, you need to use H1 tags for your title. Now, any good WordPress theme will automatically imp apply the H1 tags to your title. Not all of them do, so it is worth checking in the source code. Also, we need to use H2 tags and H3 tags for subtitles. So throughout the article, if you break it up into two or three different sections with different um, um, headings, then you need to use H2 and H3 tags. Now, in your WordPress dashboard, you can set that for heading two or heading three, and it, it applies to H2 and the H3 tags. So you can use that throughout the article. Okay, so the keyword density. This is quite important. Your keyword should appear within the first 50 words of the first paragraph. Ideally, it should be in the first sentence. The first 50 words, because when um, your when your uh, website shows up in Google's listings or Yahoo listings, I think they use 160 characters. So your keyword needs to be within the first 160 char characters. Your keyword should also appear roughly three to four times throughout your homepage or throughout your article. So if you've got it in the title, you'll have it then in the first paragraph. I would recommend putting it in the middle paragraph and towards the end of the article. And try to keep your keyword density to around 4 to 6% for your main keyword. This is on your, on your site, so on your blog. Um, just a word of advice, if you're using eZine articles, eZine allow between 2 to 3%. So that would literally be your title. Um, you would be allowed your keyword in the first paragraph, the middle paragraph, and the end paragraph. But the end paragraph, use your um, author bio box. Then when you go, you can um, actually have your keyword then in anchor text, which will give you more um, power. Keyword optimization. Now, there's various different thoughts on this. Whether it works or not is, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but this is what the, the SEO experts say that it should be done. So your keyword should be in bold text, it should be italicized, and also underlined. So it would look like this, obviously, without your quotes. You don't need to put quotes in it. So your keyword then, so when the bots are, are, are trawling your site, it's very easy for them to pick out your keyword. Okay, your long tail keywords. You should spread your long tail keywords, or your LSI, throughout the article. And all this means is that when you select your, your main keyword for your site, you should also select five or 10 um, long tail keywords that Google and uh, Yahoo and Bing 
would associate with your main keyword. So, and then just spread those through the, the throughout the article. With the LSI keywords, you can use them as much as you like. Don't go overboard, obviously, and, and completely keyword stuff it. But you can, if you've got 10 um, long tail keywords, I suggest you use all of them and, and at least twice throughout the article. Okay, now this site here, so this is a, a live example now. This is a site that I found for ICI Berry. Now, ICI Berry, it actually, when I typed in ICI Berry into Google, this was the first site that came up and it's very, very well optimized. So as we can see, it's ICI Berry reviewed. So this is the URL here. So it's ICI Berry reviewed.co.uk. So it's in the URL, it's in the, um, the page title, and also here, you can see it's ICI Berry Home. These here are going to be their, their long tail keywords. So it would be what is ICI Berry, ICI Berry Benefits, ICI Berry Frequently Asked Questions, Berry Weight Loss, and by ICI Berries. Now, I would say that these are probably long tail keywords that they're targeting. Um, and if we look down through it, you'll see ICI Berry repeated. Here it is bolded. So what is the ICI Berry? So it's bolded there. Um, and they've got a couple of others. They've got Mackay Berry there. And some advertising also with their articles. Now, this is another thing that I was going to mention is linking to your articles from your homepage. Now, if you use a static homepage and then you can put a link from your um, first article to the second article, from the second article to the third article, and so on and so forth. If you use um, WordPress, then you can have the latest articles here. So they're actually going to be linked from your homepage anyway. Okay, so that's about it for on-page SEO. Just remember that is the whole thing with SEO is to is to test and to try different things out. So for one site, you could try bolding and italicizing everything and underlining it. Um, for the next site, you could just leave it or maybe just bold the, the keywords and see if it makes any difference. I'm still testing this and my, my verdict is still out on bolding, italicizing and um, underlining um, keywords, but I will keep testing it and we'll, we'll see how we go. So, but this site here is very well optimized. It's quite a recent site and uh, they're now ranking number one for ICI Berry. And ICI Berry gets over one and a half million views per month. So I should imagine this site is getting quite a lot of traffic. Okay, thanks very much.